it's time for another paint party. Today, uh, I'm going to be doing a wooden butterfly that's on a stand. I have done one of these previously and recently sold it. Um, I did not do a video of that uh, butterfly when I created it, so I decided I would try to do this um, for you guys. I haven't been videotaping that much uh, lately and especially have not been doing videos of the small home decor things that I've been doing. Uh, the reason being they take me a long time uh, because I'm very particular and I'm usually working on them for multiple days. Um, this project will also take multiple days but I am uh, going to do this in parts. Um, the reason it takes longer is because I decorate, I pour over both sides of the butterfly. Uh, we're only going to do one side today. Um, before the pour, I sanded the butterfly well over all of its surfaces and then I applied a coat of gesso over everything and then I taped the bottom and the edges and the other side. The other side and the edges and the bottom uh, so that it won't drip and uh, have to be sanded again uh, on those surfaces when it um, from the paint that I pour today. I learned that from my last pour when I didn't tape all the edges. I did tape the bottom last time, but I didn't tape the other side and the edges, and this time it did take a while to, to do that because you have all these curves, but it will be worth it, I think, in the end. I won't have to, uh, I won't have to sand, and I won't have to put as much paint on the edges to make it look uh, finished. That said, um, I will supply you with the um, brands and colors that I'm going to be using in the description. If you're interested in that, you can go there and refer to that. Um, I think that's all I need to go over, except for maybe uh, I will explain that I'm going to be pouring different color paints, and then I'm going to be using a cell activator and swiping over the colors. Uh, the recipe for the cell activator will also be provided in the description. Okay, let's party!
guys, I guess I'm going to stop there. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm, I'm really particular and it's really hard to tell, you know, um, you can't get this perfect. It's, um, I'm just trying to get, you know, get a uniform kind of look. Um, but you know, it is abstract. So that is, uh, we're going to leave it as it is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the camera down and give you guys a close up. Okay, let's get close up and show all these cool details. That uh, 24 karat gold is going to provide some nice shimmer through there. I'm sorry for the reflection. I am recording this at night and uh, it's so hard to get a good good shots with my setup and uh, get true colors and all that it's I, I do my best I hope you guys uh, appreciate that I, I'm I'm trying <laughs> so this all looks pretty cool huh But it's not as easy as it looks. I mean, as you saw, it took me a while to get it to look like I wanted it to. But I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. I still have the other side to do, but I will do a separate video for that. Or I might not do it at all, to be honest. <laughs> we'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will bid you farewell for today. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you soon. Bye.